quality assurance with magnetic particle testing for surface crack detection. A knowledge floater from Karl Deutsch Wuppertal with videos, animation and sound. Introduction and motivation. Processing steel by casting, rolling, forging or welding can cause cracks within the material and also on the material surface. Such cracks which can also arise during the production of steel pipes. Defective components must be detected and either repaired or discarded. Quality control relies on the availability of proven methods. One of these methods, little known to the public, is the subject of this knowledge floater. Magnetic particle testing. Accepted by experts as an extremely reliable method, magnetic particle testing, commonly abbreviated MT, can be used for all ferrous metals. It is most commonly used for steel components, but also for nickel or cobalt if required. A magnetic field is applied to the component to be tested. The method is using the behavior of the field distribution in a component with cracks. A new shaped magnet demonstrates the well-known shape of a magnetic field. If a ferrous metal object is placed within this field, the lines of magnetic force or field lines are drawn into the object. In a perfect component, the field lines are undisturbed. This is not the case if the component is cracked. Then the lines can only run straight within the undamaged area. They cannot bridge the air gap formed by the crack and therefore bend away from it back into the material. At the surface, they can no longer do this, so the field lines leave the material and form new poles at the edge of the crack. This is called flux leakage. The respective region is wider than the crack itself. Magnetic particle testing uses this phenomenon. Fine iron powder, either dry or suspended within the fluid, is applied to the component under test. The powder then sticks to the region of the flux leakage, thus indicating the exact position of the surface crack. Crack Indication Agent In practice, a fluorescent dye is added to the iron powder or magnetic particles. Under ultraviolet light, this glows brightly and indicates the crack with the highest possible contrast. The lacquered iron powder collected at the edges of the crack is forming a linear indication. Visual testing with ultraviolet light is familiar to us from banks, where it is used to detect counterfeit money bills. The picture at the bottom left shows a component being magnetized in a testing machine. The process reveals a longitudinal crack running along the piece. The picture on the right shows a commonly used UV lamp for the high contrast crack detection. Magnetization techniques. The two most important magnetization methods use two different types of magnetic field. A directly applied longitudinal magnetic field is used for the detection of transverse cracks. It is easy to see that the magnetic field lines are only interrupted by transverse cracks, so only these will be indicated. However, longitudinal cracks also occur and also have to be detected. To do this, a circular magnetic field is generated using an idea from electrical engineering. It is well known that an electric current flowing through a conductor produces a magnetic field encircling the conductor. 
This is known as direct current magnetization for the circular magnetic field. This type of field is distorted by cracks running longitudinally through the material. This technique allows longitudinal cracks and faults in steel bars or wire to be detected. An additional effect with ferromagnetic materials is that the field lines in the air around the component are drawn into the surface, reinforcing the respective magnetic field. Crack detection with mobile test equipment. If no stationary testing machine is available and the volume of components to be tested does not justify an installation of such a machine, a portable tester in the form of a handheld electromagnet can be used. This is also useful for testing large components that cannot easily be moved. The handheld tester generates a longitudinal magnetic field between its two poles which are situated at the two protruding ends of the U-shaped device called yoke. The yoke is often used on construction sites to check welds. This is done section by section. Each section based on the distance of the two poles. Each section is tested diagonally in two directions in order to detect cracks in all directions. Some examples for mobile crack detection. Mobile magnetic particle testing has many applications. It is used on large machine parts, for vehicle inspection, on steel construction elements and for pipelines. The pictures show the inspection of a wind turbine shaft, a crucial safety check on a roller coaster car and checking the ends of a section of a pipeline. Stationary testing equipment with two magnetic circuits. If many parts must be tested, for example in the automotive industry, testing will take place in special machines. These generate both types of magnetic fields, longitudinal and circular. Both magnetic fields are activated simultaneously. Practical testing procedure with stationary testing equipment. The part to be tested is placed in the machine and sprayed with a crack detection agent composed of fine iron powder, a fluorescent dye and other additives, for instance anti-corrosives. Both magnetic fields are activated at the same time and the results of the test procedure are then evaluated under ultraviolet light by specially trained operators. The whole procedure from placing the part into the machine and to evaluate the results takes only some 10 seconds. The attempt has been made to replace personal intensive evaluation with automatic computerized image analysis. The problem is that magnetic flux leakage occurs at every edge creating a lot of pseudo-indications. Rough surfaces can also cause difficult viewing conditions because iron powder also sticks to the rough surface and reduces the contrast. Therefore, an automated evaluation is a demanding task that is rarely used in industry today. However, with improvements in computer performance and in ever-increasing automation of production lines, its use may become more common in the future.